Hello everybody and welcome to Awkwardism and this is Saturday's video which would be topics which would be things that I kind of want to talk about and explain to you guys as I progress and learn more about YouTube. Now the topic for today is copyrights. Now whenever you start YouTube you hear you know all the YouTubers that you watch go through you know copyright strikes or you know copyright problems and since I just recently started out, I wanted to make sure that, you know, I knew the ins and outs of everything. So I had to spend days upon days, like a full week on nothing but searching for the five games that you're watching, what their copyright policies are for YouTube Let's Players. And it's actually really hard, and I don't really think a lot of people who start out YouTube, you know, have an actual way to find out that information. For me, I had a Google uh the policies read the policies um then i had a uh some of them like capcom uh for i think walking dead i mean not walking dead but um devil may cry they don't allow monetization uh they don't uh i don't from what i read they don't care if you post let's plays they just don't want you to ha uh, make money off of them which I'm fine I am just starting out there is no way that I can you know put ads on my videos yet or anything so it's completely cool not to have ads on any of my videos um and then you got some like uh Bungie which I was going to play Destiny 1 and 2 just to, you know the story missions and you know they say they don't want monetization it's mainly just monetization they don't care if you post stuff as long as you talk over it and so I'm trying really hard to one make sure that I do not get a, a copyright strike and if I do um, I'm gonna say now that I'm going to comply with it so I might take down videos if they become problematic you know I'm not trying to fight big daddy YouTube um, because you know I don't know what I'm doing still I'm learning as I go on and I don't really want to ruffle anyone's feathers so what I did was um, you uh, when you want to start YouTube and you want to play let's plays I would go with picking what games you want to play and start out with those titles find out who made them and then google that person google what I exactly googled was uh, let's take Capcom for instance I pushed Capcom's YouTube uh, let's play policy and that will pull you up to the policy section right where you know they have their let's play YouTube or YouTube which um, you know normally they're not like reacting to TV shows where you know it's all one gigantic copyright strike target on your back uh, there's a lot of leeway with video games and I feel like people who are just starting out YouTube you know video games are a good thing because it's something to engage the audience and also it's something that kinda relaxes you enough to talk and get used to speaking to people uh, that you can't see I know that's one of the steps of insanity but anyways um, so I, I kind of feel like that's uh, why I'm, I'm, you know, it's so hard because I'm, I'm worried at times that I'm going to get a copyright strike out of nowhere. I know that I'm just beginning to, I'm not really on YouTube's radar uh, on my content and whatnot, but also I don't want to be one of those people that just goes in here making videos, not really worrying about the repercussions. So uh, every game that I play has been researched and looked at I've read their policies on uh, YouTube's and let plays and that's all I would suggest is if you want to play a game for YouTube uh, any game just Google it and find their policy and read the section that you need to if you can I heard that this was a thing you could do but I couldn't really find a lot of people that I could do it to but apparently you can find people that work there um, emails and email them to ask if it's permission the problem with this is you can sometimes find old information and then the person's not even working for them anymore 
so it leads you down a gigantic rabbit hole and you're waiting like weeks or something for a mess uh, email that's not even going to come because the person doesn't work for the company so that's why I stick to the, just the, the policies things I can actually read and print out um, so that's it in a nutshell about copywriting and what I'm going to do to try and prevent copyright strikes on my channel and to give you guys a head up if a video disappears it's because somebody a corporation didn't like it or something and if I can I'll try and uh, like I did with Devil May Cry I took off the sound because I don't have the band's permission to play that and I don't know because it doesn't really f tell you if the company owns that sound and if I have permission from the company if I can play that sound I might test it out but I'm not trying to poke the bear but as always thank you for listening thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing this is Tobias and awkwardism so thank you and I'll see you guys next time